Hi everyone, I am Climate and Carbon Support Officer, um, work for Shropshire Council and um, we've, um, I'm part of a team called uh, the Climate Task Force and um, what this is is a project called Open Climate and the, the idea is, is to um, look at projects at home to, that will help save energy and uh, 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 mitigate and adapt to climate change. Um, so they're a broad number of topics, they could be around uh, I've done a couple of aid memoirs, is uh, earn and map, so the mitigate and adapt to um, mitigation, adaptation, uh, promote practical actions, and the earn is energy, active travel, and resources, and nature-based solutions. Yeah, so these are solar electric panels. Um, there are 14, 14 of them all together. They, uh, that has a peak generation of four kilowatts. Um, so in the middle of the day, that's the most that it would, it would generate. And it's enough uh, to power a typical family home. Um, so this is a, a kind of medium sized family home really. Um, so yeah, so we, we have a, a battery that's enough to store enough that we use during the day, um, which is it's 10 kilowatt hours, but that's typically what, what we use through the day. Here, it's a, in, the, in the DC, and this is a battery that stores, this, this will store um, a day's worth of, of electric, um, which is um, 10 or 12 kilowatt hours for us. Um, as an inverter, so this takes care of all, it automatically switches between the grid and the and the batteries it takes the the dc from the panels and converts that into ac for the mains oh and the other thing about the uh, the inverter if we do have a power out uh, it has a, an emergency backup uh, mode uh, emergency power supply mode which just means if you've got a um if the grid's down you're just in uh, in an off grid mode so uh, you have about a day's worth of use but if it's sunny it's going to top up the battery again yeah, so with, with, with inverters, it used to be the case that you could only really power your lights um, and you, if you're lucky, you know, if, um, but you, 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 your kettle, but it, uh, this has been specified to, it will power your cooker, um, dishwasher, washing machine, uh, all the main things that we, um, we, we use. Um, obviously, if you've got them all on at the same time, it could be an issue, but then it would it wouldn't matter, it will just take it off the grid, any excess it needs. Um, but yeah, we sort of over-specified this a bit, went for, it's worth paying for a, 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 a more, a better model, powerful model, because it's not the power of your PV, it's the power of what you're actually using. So that's a five kilowatt inverter. Um, yeah. Yeah, just on the mains outside, we have a smart meter um, outside. I bet most people um, have one of these. I really recommend getting one if you haven't. Um, your utilities provider will, will fit it free of charge. And they're just handy little devices to come with a, a little monitor like that. And you can flick through your previous uh, usage. Um, and yeah, just set budgets and so see what you're spending basically. Yeah, just just to say with a smart meter, we, we have a it's a green tariff. Um, so that means it's zero carbon anyway, any electric we use off the grid. And um, at night, we've got a very cheap tariff. So it is uh, the advantage having a battery during the winter, obviously no sun or not much sun. Um, we we charge up the battery at five at very cheap electric, five pence. Um, and and um, that means that keeps your costs down as well. So uh, you can also do that with storage heaters. Mm -hmm. 
So this is what we, we heat the house with. It's, we do um, heating and, and the hot water. It's a, uh, it's a biomass boiler, a pellet boiler. Um, so you get sacks of bags of, uh, bio, of, of pellets. They're about 15 kilos a bag. It costs about three to four pounds a bag. Um, it probably costs about between 400 and 600 pounds a year to, uh, to, to run. Um, but yeah, it works really well. It's, um, you just tip the pellets in the top um, and acts as a bit of a stove as well because um, it's our main living area in the centre of the, of the house. Um, just one thing, whatever type of boiler you do have, it's really worthwhile having a, a good um, timer, boiler control, and just setting it up so it comes on the right time, at the right times of the, of the day, just throughout the week, uh, just to match when you're getting up and everything like that. Um, and the other thing, probably obvious, is just having a thermostat, um, just setting it at the right temperature. I mean, it's down to it's 18, 19, 20 degrees, depending on um, what, what, what you want it at. But we can, you can move this around the house. Um, so in whatever room, whichever room you're in. Um, this is quite an old version, but we're probably going to upgrade this. So each radiator uh, can be controllable. So then you can kind of control different rooms, um, different, different zones as, as to what, you, what temperature you want. Well, so yeah, with the electrics as well, we have a uh, a, a uh, this. It's called my my energy eddy. So what that does is um, dumps any excess from the solar PV into a hot water immersion tank. So we're getting hot water from our solar as well, um, and we can also set it as a uh, just program it to come on whenever we, uh, as a standard um, timer, and um, it comes with an app, uh, and you can add bits in the future you can add an EV charge point as well an electric car charge point um, and it yeah it's all controlled uh, by an app basically and you can add extra bits like the wind turbine and it kind of balances it all uh, behind the scenes uh, so this is just a bit on insulation it's um, uh, this is what a term of poor man's triple glazing. It's a, uh, it's, it's just uh, secondary glazing. Um, this is acrylic, um, perspex. Uh, so it, you can just get this cut to size. I, I just went online and ordered it um, to, to the size I needed, and, and they it saves the faff of you having to um, um, cut it yourself. But they, um, so they did the arch. They'll do, they'll, they'll do a. Uh, an arch window. Um, I did the wood, wood trim as well. What I did find that I did another one actually, on the the other side of the house, and I found this method a lot easier. Uh, so it it, all, you, it it has adhesive magnets on the back, and it's um, it has the plastic clips, so it's already it's it's much easier to fit actually. So I'd recommend this one. Um, and if you're wanting really long lasting. Um, secondary glazing uh, polycarbonate is a bit stronger and that, that, that lasts longer but uh, we're, we're hopefully we're going to have triple glazing fitted so this is just an interim measure um, and just the benefit of this really we just noticed it's a lot warmer um, upstairs and it's um, obviously it's saving a bit of the the fuel the, the wood pellets that we we use to heat the house as well yeah so just one of the first things that's worth doing is uh, the very first thing is, is getting putting loft insulation in. So putting a decent amount of insulation in, in your loft space if you've got room. Um, uh, this was a self-built house, so it 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 has Kingspan silver-lined um, insulation built into the uh, into, into the roof and the walls. Um, and just the other bit about insulation, it's uh, having heavy curtains on your on your doors and, and windows, external doors and windows is, is worth it as well. So 
So a bit on uh, composting and uh, on the theme of resources. Um, all, all our green waste from the kitchen gets composted. Um, so it's really good for the for the veg plot. It's, it just it helps improve the soil a lot. Um, and we, we no, no by by no means self sufficient. But we try and grow as much food as we can, and that helps save some costs as well. Um, and it makes very good compost for you, um, uh, potting compost as well. And um, we also try and save water a lot. So um, we have a, an IBC tank up there, just collecting water off, rain water off the shed roof. And we use that to irrigate the veg plot as well. Um, yeah, just uh, just a bit on nature-based solutions. Uh, this is a this is just a bird feeder uh, with a with a camera in there. Um, that's powered by the solar panel I just showed earlier. But um, yeah, it's just got a motion detector on there, so you can identify the um, species of birds um, that are feeding there. We've also got a um, a nest box with a camera inside as well for for the springtime. So. Um, uh, so solar panels are ideal for that kind of out, out, outdoor um, power needs. <laughs>